IT certifications are a hot topic in today's industry. As the education sector continues to grow, we have more options in this industry than we ever had before. For students like ourselves, finding valuable training which prepares us all at an affordable price can seem quite the challenge in today's industry. Today on Cyber Intern Academy, we address one of the recommended resources that I recommend to all students looking to achieve a IT certification the primary learning resource they should use today. Today, I hope you understand why Pluralsight over Pluralsight. Today, I hope I help you understand why Pluralsight is the best option and the best value. like Cyberary or very cheap learning networks like Udemy where you can get the discounted prices 95, 97% off when they run their sales uh, are very attractive and often very popular platforms utilized by students like ourselves because well, the budget is limited, uh, the financial backing, financial funds are not plentiful, meaning that well, we need to have certain networks that give us the training but at the same time are financially uh, affordable. So why would you pay for your training if you can get all of the free training and get all of the objectives checked off by a free learning network like Cyberary, which is, I believe is very quality and a good learning network for students like ourselves. The reason? It's free. Are you dumb, Grant? That is a stupid reason. That is the most obvious reason I've ever seen anyone copy. Let me expand, IT nerd. Um, so the reason why you shouldn't pay for your free training uh, is the primary resource. I highlight primary because it is a good free uh, learning option to add on to your learning. So I, 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 I stress the primary because you can utilize these free training networks in addition to what you are primarily learning off from. There's a few reasons why I have come up with why free training isn't as good as paying for your training. These include, doesn't have to comply with a certain quality standard, not have to be 100% accurate, clear, or precise, isn't always free. Um, usually services may offer free training, but the exercises, quizzes, tests, labs are not free. Uh, and does not have to be the most updated and relevant information. Now, a free training network like Cyberary, which is established in the community, will probably not have or not have to deal with um, quality issues. They're gonna try to push out quality as, as good as they can. But when you are paying for your training, you demand quality, you demand relevant information. Instructors that you are paying uh, for need to be and give you quality information uh, that prepares you for the exams. If this hasn't persuaded you just yet, maybe this will. Oh, will it, Grant? Well, will it? Uh. You are a student looking to gain a formal qualification for their portfolio. That's what I'm guessing you are looking at this video for. You're trying to get an IT certification to enhance your portfolio, enhance your marketability. Um, why wouldn't you pay for the best possible training initially and pass the exam the first time and you're actually learning the concepts and training for the concepts and then not have to worry about retaking or not being prepared enough when you go for the exam. I'm not saying that free training networks can't help you prepare, but Pluralsight or paid vendors and education sectors and platforms are going to have to prepare you because you are paying for a certain quality standard. You have to pay for the exam voucher regardless, unless you have a company or your school is paying for it, you have to pay for the exam voucher. So why wouldn't you pay for it once and be done, knowing that you are ready to go into the exam with proper training and preparation? If you are absolutely sold on the idea of free training, there's no really need to watch the end of this video. Let's transition into what Pluralsight offers for students like ourselves.
Pluralsight divides their sections, their catalog into three areas of focus. Courses, paths, and assessments. Courses, you can simply look up an IT certification on the search bar, scroll down and see the courses that are published and produced by Pluralsight. In this example, we look up the Security Plus certification, a common entry level certification for students like ourselves to take. For paths, Pluralsight actually handpicks the courses uh, regardless of certification type. They may be certifications and just regular standalone courses that are handpicked by Pluralsight and they fulfill a certain position or path uh, to their liking. For instance, in this example, we use Instant Handler. So you want to become an Instant Handler, you can follow these courses and by the end of these catalog of courses, you can successfully say, uh, I, I have learned what an Instant Handler needs to... Uh, <laughs> So if you want to become an instant handler, all you have to do is just scroll down, become an instant handler. So if you want to become an instant handler, all you need to do is follow these courses in the catalog, follow the certifications. By the end of, I guess you could say the path, you could say, well, I know what an instant handler does. I know his or her's position and I know his or her's responsibilities. This, this is really a unique dynamic Pluralsight offers to students like ourselves. I find that oftentimes guidance uh, is, is, is lacking in, the, in this industry. Assessments, Pluralsight also offers uh, particular certifications uh, exams where they put together certification exams, you can test your knowledge. These are gonna be more advanced certifications as the curriculum and the objectives and the overall certification is gonna be more demanding of your time and uh, a lot more demanding of the knowledge and insights that you have. So you have assessments available to you as you progress through your entry level certifications. So what I really like about Pluralsight is that they give you the option, right? So if you want to become an instant handler, you can become an instant handler. If you just want to get your security plus, you can get your security plus. Whatever it is, there's guidance either way. If you know exactly where you want to go, you can follow your own path. But if you're not sure exactly, you can follow the path that Pluralsight has designated and pre-outlined for you. In addition to these three sections, Pluralsight also offers unique test taking methods. What I mean by that is, uh, if you scroll down to certain exams and curriculums, you will see a practice exam with a blue check mark. These mean that there are practice exams included within the curriculum, so keep your eye out for those. Something I find really unique about Pluralsight and what they offer is called the Pluralsight IQ. Think of these IQ tests as pre-tests, where you're able to assess your knowledge coming into the topic or curriculum of your choice. After taking these IQ exams, you can understand what you knew, what you didn't knew, areas to improve upon, and areas that you should prepare and focus your attention towards while you are undergoing the curriculum itself. So combine this all together, the courses, paths, assessments, practice exams, and even the Pluralsight IQ, and you really have a great learning network. Let's talk about the positives and negatives of Pluralsight as Cyber Intern Academy is an authentic platform. I'm not trying to sell you Pluralsight, I'm trying to give you real value. So let's go ahead and address the positives and the negatives. So the positives. Pluralsight offers some great positives to your learning experience and your learning preparation for an IT certification. These include exceptional training for the pricing, affordability compared to other training networks in its class, practice exams are included, you get the skill IQ tests to test pre-existing knowledge before entering a certification, they're taught by qualified experts, um, it's quality is expected since you are paying. It's geared for all types of students and it has its own career paths which offer guidance within the position that you are pursuing. Those are some great positives but let's also talk about and mention the negatives. Two negatives that I have really seen on Pluralsight is it's a subscription-based network meaning you do not have lifetime access to the content. And it does not guarantee 100% success for passing an exam. Address these negatives, let's start with number one. It's a subscription-based network. I definitely agree that there is downsides to having a subscription-based network where you pay monthly and you get access to all the courses. This is great until you stop payment. 
What happens after that is you don't have access to these anymore. How I combat this certain uh, dynamic, a certain uh, problem is first I take good notes. You're going to be taking good notes regardless. So when you want to go back and reference material that you have forgotten after you've gotten your exam, you can go back to your notes. And this is where the free training networks comes in. When you're having trouble with a certain concept, idea, uh, or, or certain technology, you can go to Cybrary or you can go to Udemy and you can look up the certain uh, concepts that you are having trouble with for free. So that's where I like to incorporate the free learning aspect to it after you have completed your certification and you are no longer a Pluralsight member. Second point, does not guarantee 100% success. Well, that's true for any training network. There's going to be nothing, regardless of where you are at, in in-person training, uh, Udemy training, Cybrary, Pluralsight, thousands of dollars training. It doesn't matter. What matters is your learning process, how are you preparing, what do you know before, uh, and how are you successfully and actively pursuing this certification. So no, it does not guarantee 100% success in passing the exam. So to conclude this video, I want to encourage you to check out the 10 day free trial on Pluralsight. It's completely free. You sign up, you get your 10 day free trial and you can understand exactly what I'm talking about. You can go through some of the curriculums. You can understand what the courses are and what they do. Link down below if you want to find the 10 day free trial. And from there, you can either choose Pluralsight as your primary learning vendor and your learning certification or you can use a free learning network if Pluralsight doesn't fit your needs, your wants. I hope you found this video resourceful and informational towards your learning process. Please scroll down uh, to read the rest of this review. And at the end, there are also links included for the 10-day free trial and the subscription-based uh, network 